Sanchez returning to ACO Rules Racing this weekend as the bronze and the silver. And, of course, they do all the heavy lifting during the race. Thomas Brining, unstoppable as the gold. And he was waiting in the wings with, what, an hour and 20-odd minutes to go to the flag. Five abreast we tried to have into turn one four hours ago. Unsurprisingly, that didn't quite work. First of all, a big old sideways moment for Roman Rusinov. But how many, how about how many, how many cars left the road here through the right-hander at Abbey, including Stefan Adler, who very nearly made contact with Wayne Boyd in the number two car, who started that machine, then subsequently handed it over to Garrett Grist. Dust, debris bits of carbon fibre going everywhere, and then the rain hit, if, as, as if we didn't have enough action going on already. James Allen deciding to stay out on slick tyres, but I'm afraid that turned out to be a bad decision for Dragon Speed, because the Aussie rotating down at Cops Corner, then a little bit of a squirrely moment for the number 11 car in the hands of Mikkel Jensen. Early stops, first of all to change from slicks to treaded tyres and then back again. This was Phil Hansen's with steering issues with his number 22 car. The car cutting out on two separate occasions, preventing the young man from turning right, first of all at club and then at Luffield. Then we had side-by-side -side action. Fun to watch, actually, James Allen work his way back up the order. First of all, pulling a move on John Ferrano, and Ferrano would hit drama later on. Brief glimpse of him in there in the pits there after contact, and this was a huge crash for Mike Guash after contact, we think, with Tim Bouray into Maggots and Beckett's, hitting bare concrete wall there. Mike Guash, though, walked away from that incident amazingly and was being checked up in the medical centre, but he was talking to medics uh, partway through the race. This, Kwani being collected by Nicola Jama, Cool Racing and the Duquesne car. And I'm afraid that was the state of the Duquesne engineering machine after all of that, after its side swipe has stopped. Alexandre Kwani, who was a little bit helpless after an incident that involved his car and Laura Milara. GT battling, a real highlight throughout the course of this weekend. Silverstone, a famous GT uh, track through the years, and I'm delighted that a seven-car field put on a special display for, for round four of the year. The 88 car, though, of Thomas Brining, joined by Sanchez, joined by Girardi. A few tears being shed down there as well. And there's a bit of a special dance from inter europe competition. It is a ninth podium in a row for the Polish squad. They started from a small acorn, but they are now really one of the teams to beat in the LMP3 category. And, of course, making the step up into LMP2 for the first time this season. A first victory ever for Edex Sport.